Hi everyone, welcome back for another phonics lesson. Today we are going to be learning about commas in a series. Our objective for today is I can use commas to separate a series of items. A series of items is when we have three or more words that come one after another in a sentence, and it's kind of like a list. So we have a sentence on the screen that says, Jen has a pencil, a book, and a crayon. The list of items that she has, or the series, is a pencil, a book, and a crayon. In this sentence, you can see there are commas that help us separate all of those three items. So again, when we have a series or a list of three or more items, we can use commas to separate them. So when we are writing, we have to think about where we're going to put the commas. When you have a series of items, a comma is going to go after each item on the list, except the last one. So we're going to give an example um, now that we know that rule. The example says, Charlie wanted to eat pizza, ice cream, and chips. Now, I know that there's a series of items here. I see pizza, ice cream, and chips. All three words come one after another. It sounds like a list. When I have a list, I need to put a comma after each one, except the last one. So here's what that might look like. I can see I've added a comma after pizza and ice cream. But since chips is at the end of the sentence, I just put a period to end it. Now let's talk about the placement of a series. A series of items can go anywhere in our sentence. It could go at the beginning, the middle, or the end. Now we're going to see how a sentence could look different with a series at the beginning, middle, or end of the sentence. So our first example has our series at the very end of the sentence. This is just like the first example we did. It says, I love to read historical fiction, mysteries, and biographies. So I know the three things in this list or this series are historical fiction, mysteries, and biographies. I'm going to remember the rule that there's a comma after every item except the last one. So I know I'm going to have to put a comma after historical fiction and mysteries. Let's do another one. This is an example with the series at the beginning of the sentence. This time, I'm going to read the sentence and I want you to pause and see if you can figure out where the commas go. The sentence says, basketball, baseball, and tennis are my favorite sports to play. Take a moment to think about where the commas might go in this sentence. Great job. Since this is a series of three items, again, we have basketball, baseball, and tennis. We know that there's not going to be a comma after the last one, but there does have to be a comma after basketball and baseball. Now we have one more that we're going to practice, and this one is in the middle of a sentence. Same thing, I'm going to read it. You can pause your video and see if you can figure out where the commas will go in this sentence. I packed sunscreen, towels, and water for our beach trip. Great job. So since our, com or our series is in the middle of the sentence, we know we won't need a punctuation mark after the last word because there's still words that come after it. But remember, we need to put commas after the other two words. So there's going to be a word after sunscreen, or a comma after sunscreen, and a comma after towels. Thanks for following along with our phonics lesson today about commas in a series. You can extend your learning by completing the commas in a series practice in your week eight packet, or practicing commas in a series on IXL.com. Don't forget to share your learning with your teachers.